but I'm going to. But it was a really, really hard video for me to film. Um, I talk about a lot, everything. I address a lot of stuff from 2019. Before we get into the drama, this video is sponsored the house by Boulon Quist. Yes, ma'am. And I got their contact lenses on right now. You can see that. Ooh. So I have natural hazel eyes and this contact took it to like a more deeper, like I was like coffee brown. And so I know a lot of you out there have like blue eyes or green eyes and you wish you had hazel eyes or you wish you had deep cocoa brown eyes like me. So I put on these contact lenses to show you that if you have hazel eyes, this is what it looks like. But if you want like brown eyes, definitely check them out. They have really cool uh, contact lenses and they're super, super soft and I love them so much. And I forget I even have them on sometimes. But I do have a code for you guys. Code down below so you can check it out. All right, let's get on with the drama. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Okay guys, if you like these fans, I'm always popping. I put the link down below. It's not sponsored, but it is an affiliate link. So if you use my code, I get a little taco money. Okay, so we got a lot to talk about. There are a lot of drama that's going around the way. And I'm just like, what is going on? Okay, and I really don't, re okay, like, you want to talk? Let's talk. I feel like we need to talk. Let me see your little brush over here. Let me see here. Okay, I gotta, let me see, I gotta fix this contour, all this damn drama. It's gonna crack my contour, girl. All right, well, let's talk about a drama. We're gonna be talking about Kathleen Lack. Cause she's in, she's in drama again. And then we're gonna talk about um, uh, Marlena and some drama. And then, we're, there's some other stuff we gotta talk about. I think Jacqueline Hill's complaining again about something, girl. I just got done filming. <sighs> and I'll be honest, I do not wanna upload this video at all. Um, but I'm going to. But it was a really, really hard video for me to film. Um, I talk about a lot, where I've been recently, what's been going on in my personal life, emotional, everything. I addressed a lot of stuff from 2019. It was just really hard video for me to film. Um, so I'm going to have my editor edit this one because otherwise I'm going to probably just be like, I'm not doing it. And then, uh, have him edit the whole entire thing. And then I will just post it. But I'm very anxious about this. This bruise is so aggressive. I got an IV. When did I get the IV, babe? When Four was that? Ago. Four days ago. I thought it was longer than that. And they couldn't find my vein, and they were, like, stabbing around. It was disgusting, and it left me with this. Yummy. And then, um, girl. Okay, girl. There's, like, so much more to talk about, okay? All right, so let's talk about this uh, Kathleen Lash drama, okay? Now, look. You guys already know that I get all the tea wrong. Y'all always say in the comments, well, Riz Lex, how dare you get that? Very that. Like, I always get it wrong. Like, if you say one thing, like, okay, the other day, I said, this is a concealer. Well, girl, it turned out to be a damn uh, little lipstick thing. And then y'all came for me in the house. Y'all want to attack me in the house every time. Okay, you guys know I always get all the tea wrong, but somewhere is the truth of it all. Okay. Bear with me. So Kathleen Lies, she used to have, I mean, Kathleen Lies, she can do no wrong. Kathleen Lies has been on YouTube for years, girl. She was there the first day YouTube opened up, girl. You can start, you know, upload videos. She was the first one to post video, girl. Kathleen Lies has been OG beauty YouTuber of the world. YouTube, love her so much. She probably thinks that I come for her all the time. I love her so much. If I'm talking about her, it's because I actually like her. That makes sense? Okay. Kathleen Lights. She can't get a view to save her life. She can't sell lipstick to save her life. But we love her so much. She's Kathleen Lights. She's like YouTube royalty or whatever. Well, she used to have this uh, nail polish line. I mean, because, girl, there's drama in the nail polish community. And I'm not even lying. This is true freaking tea. There's drama in the nail polish community, and they might be the most vicious community on YouTube. K 
Can you believe that? More vicious than the damn Michael Jackson community. Can you imagine that? Well, okay. So she's having an El Paz line with some other people, and then they got really messy, and there's they're, they're going to sue each other or whatever, girl. And then Kathleen Lyons thought of her own... What was it, makeup? No. See, I don't forgot, girl. She done started her own nail polish line. And it's like blowing up all over the world. Because I've never even heard about it. But it's apparently, it's just in high demand. And then some lady who used to work at the old company started a nail polish line too. And it's just like, the, the colors are the same. And then Kathleen Lights put out a tweet. And talking about, you don't know the tea, you don't even know me, please subscribe to Rich Lux and like the video. She may have said that, but she may have not, allegedly, my conspiracy. I'm, girl, I got all the tea wrong. She probably said, like, girl, don't believe what you hear, or whatever. Anyways, welcome, welcome to the most dramatic YouTube channel on YouTube. Welcome to the most dramatic tea channel on YouTube, where we don't even know what we're talking about. We just get the tea wrong. Pretty much this with it. So anyways, there's drama in the nail polish community. Girl, all I know is when it comes to nail polish, no matter what, there's only two YouTubers who do nail polish, in my opinion. Okay, three. There's Jory Graceffa. He has nail polish line. But I don't think no one buys it. Love her so much. And then Simply Nail Logical. She has nail polish line too. Um... I've never seen it, girl, but apparently everyone loves it and loves it all day long. Hide your, hide your kids, hide your husbands. And then, uh, and hide your grandma, too. And then Kathleen Lacks has a nail polish line, too. And apparently, all these nail polish are like $10 and up. That's it. So now I'm going to start my own Rich Lux nail polish. Yes, I am. And it's going to cost $1.99, and you can get it at 5 below. Trust and believe, and everybody's gonna be wearing my nail polish because it's a cheaper one. It don't matter about clout, it don't matter about anything. I'm gonna have the best nail polish all over the world because it's $2.99 or $1.99 at five below. Or you can buy it on my website, richluxnailpolish.com. It's better than your mom. $1.99. And I'm, I'm gonna have all the colors, girl, especially the yellow one and the green and the blue and that pinky shade. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like this pinky shade right here. That pink shade? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Let's talk about more drama. Okay. So, uh, Marlena Steele, she's at it again, girl. She, uh, she came out with some more makeup for this rebrand, and it was, like, really expensive, and people were shook, and then people loved it. I haven't swatched it, but I will spill the tea. I did, uh, I have spoken to Marlena in the past, and she's always been super nice to me. She's, like, a really nice, sweet woman. Based on that, she got in some drama with this other YouTuber. I guess it used to be friends, and they're battling out online, and then Marlena going to sue her, and the lawyers are involved, and it's just all getting messy, the house. It's like basically Kathleen lights all over again. I don't know what's going on, but I will say this. I feel like we don't know the whole story, and I think that the, these two people have a long history, and it goes way deeper than we know. And I feel like Marlena still is one of the good guys. I feel like she's a good woman. Did I feel like she made it, might have made mistakes? Yeah. She basically, I don't think Marlena still even knows how to work her damn iPhone, girl. Because she was like, I don't even know how to do this or do that. Girl, Marlena don't even know how to work her iPhone. She probably got on there, girl, and was trying to leave a comment and, and out accidentally struck the video, gave that poor woman a strike, girl, on her YouTube channel. And now if she gets two more strikes, she's going to lose her channel. Girl, all, all because she don't know how to use her YouTube. Whatever. I don't know what to say. I just think she's a nice lady, and I think there's a lot of tea that we don't know about. There's a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, girl, they spill the tea, this person spilled the tea, and then there's like, there's the tea. You know, and I think with time, they will work and stuff out. And I feel bad for both of them, because I think Marlene is really talented, and the other lady seems really nice too. But, yeah. I think that's the drama. But you already know we got all the tea wrong over here. Anyways, okay, so I went over to the Gucci store. Let me get it. Hold on. I went to the Gucci store and um, I bought a Gucci something. Let's unbox it. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Oh, damn. Oh, oh they do this thing? Okay. So they, apparently they put this thing here. Okay. Ooh. La, 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 la. Okay. So this is the bag. Okay. And if all the freaking haters who want to come for me in the house, here's my receipt. Here's my receipt. 
is right here. Right here. There's always that one person in the comments and be like, well, you just gonna return it. You just gonna buy and return it. Well, girl, look, look. Ah, oh, ah, oh, I tore the receipt. All right, so I can't return it now. All right, so let's, let's, I'm gonna show you what I bought. Cause I'm, I'm really excited about it. And when I saw it, I was like, oh girl, I have to have this girl. Okay. So what it was is I saw this picture of this girl on Instagram and she had it on and I was like, oh my, wow, it looks so good on her. I want to get it too. So then I went, they, ha they didn't have the exact same one, but I bought one similar to hers. Okay. Ooh, that's so nice how they wrap everything. Okay. So here it is. And how does it go? Oh yeah, it goes like this. And ooh, is it reverse? I didn't know it's reversible the house. Oh, that's so cool. All right, so then you're supposed to like, it's just like a giant scarf or you is it a shawl? I don't know. And then you put it on like this and then you go to the movies. Or you go like to go get raspas, girl. Little rasparia. You know what I'm talking about? You know what a good raspa is? You know what I'm talking about? If you know what raspa is? Put a little one in the comments if you know what raspa is. And then you wear it like that and then there you go. You're elevated your whole entire style. You like my makeup look? Okay, so I just thought that was so cool and I wanted to share it with you. I know you're gonna hate in the comments, you're gonna complain the hand, oh my god, whatever. Okay, wait, where's this at? I think I got something else, hold on. Yes, I did. I went to the Dior store and uh, I bought me a brush. I wanted to try this brush out. It is the number 12 brush by Dior. It's the whole like Dior backstage collection. And I like the packaging of the brushes too. Okay, so it looks, I don't know why they put it like this. Like, I don't think I would ever reuse the bag, but like it's there if you were if you were gonna reuse it. Okay, so here's the brush. And like I said, this is the number 12 by, oh, let me show you the front of it. Okay, so it says Dior right here in the front, right? Cool, right? Um, girl, I have a lot of brushes. Some of the best brushes I've ever used are the Hank and Henry brushes, Anastasia Beverly Hills brushes, Girl, the freaking BH Cosmetics brush. Remember this whole design? Um, yeah, there's just so many like good brushes out there in the world. Um, girl, who, who, the BoxyCharm brushes are sickening the house. Kiss Me Now Cosmetic brushes are sickening the house. So I was just like, I wanted to be bad and bougie. Let me get Dior brush. And I'm gonna use this to put on my foundation. I don't wanna hear it because I've been using a beauty blender to put on my foundation and we, I just been using that for a long time. And the minute I did like a brush like this to put on my foundation, or that one brush by Juvia's Place, girl, this one right here to put on my foundation, you, she is beat up, girl, because I have used this brush to put on my makeup. And I just feel like putting on my makeup with a brush, it just looks so much more like smooth and like airbrush look effect. It's very that. Okay, so that's pretty much all the drama that I know about right now. If you know any other hot tea, make sure you email it to me down below so we don't get the tea wrong and we know all the tea, okay? So I pretty much let you go. I love you guys so much. See you next video.